I just wanted to talk about your direct sense of experience today. Um, you know, I do go on about this quite a lot in my videos because it's your truth, your direct experience of you. So it's prior to the mind filling in its conceptual answers of what's happening. It's your direct experience. So, you know, we're not separate from our experience. So whatever experience we're having, you know, it seems pretty obvious that we're having the experience. We are the experience. That's sort of what I'm trying to get at. So there's an experience and we are that experience. It's not separate from us. So it's like we meet everything. So say there's the sound of some birds. There's the experience of the sound of birds but you are the experience. So that's where the separation collapses, the idea of separation. Because you're directly experiencing the sound of birds. So you are the sound of birds. It's only when you go to the mind that'll break it down, that'll draw some hard edges and lines around it. It'll start to separate it, start to define what's happening, start to tell a story about what's happening. So there's just your direct experience of what's happening. And we don't need to draw hard lines around it. It's just that there's no separation from the experience and the experiencer. You are the experience. <laughs> so it takes away that um, subject object. I'm listening to the birds listening to the birds, listening, just listening. So the experience of listening to birds just becomes listening. Seeing the sunrise, something seeing the sunrise, the experience of seeing the sunrise becomes seeing. You know, you everything is arising in you. So there's this expansive field of sensing, of experience. Um, and we can and the joy of that is we can have a an experience of separation when we enter the dualistic realm of mind, body and emotions. We can feel very separate and individual and have a separate and individual. I can feel like I'm talking to you. There is a me in you. Um, but actually there's just talking. There's just the sound of my voice. It's just the experience. So there's a collapsing of, of two things becoming one. Um, you are the experience. The experiencer and the experience become one. There is only experiencing. So uh, looking at the view, subject, object. It's as if the view's coming to you rather than you're looking at the view. You are the view. You are the view rather than subject, object. So it's just a few pointers here to see... Um, how we can experience the world as this field of experiencing. And it's always this field of experiencing, experiencing the world. Um, it only becomes a separate person when, when we um, use the senses and the mind, body and emotions to describe the story about us. You know, I'm having an experience instead of there's just the experiencing. Um, my experience, just experiencing. Um, you know, I'm feeling sad. There's sadness being experienced. There's just the experience of sadness. As soon as it becomes, we delve in and the mind describes that experience of sadness. Oh, well, it's awful. I shouldn't be feeling this way. See how the story is put on top. And that's where the suffering is. 
the experience of sadness from here prior to a story is quite neutral. It's only the the added description and the added idea that somebody, somebody separate is experiencing the sadness. Um, so I think this is a good way of, um, you know, if you've got any, any things that come up for you. Um, feelings, emotions, thoughts, is just to see there is this experience of thoughts. Not my thoughts, it's an experience of thoughts. You are the experience. The thoughts are appearing in you, not to you. It just opens up a whole other world <laughs> of experience. And you can have that experience of separation. Don't think, well, I don't want to... Um, experience in that way because I'm going to lose feeling like that that idea of separation that feeling of separation you can still pick that up you can still feel like you're having a separate experience you can also see ah oh, this is life experiencing and I'm life just an opportunity to see things another way and I'm just saying how does that feel this direct sense of being in the world sensing being the experience being with what's there prior to all the conceptual ideas of what's there. You can play all of the roles in all of the, but actually it's only ever this life playing all of the roles. You never become separate. You never leave just life. <laughs> I mean, I think that's probably easy to see. We never leave life, we are life. We're not having a life, we are life. Life experiencing life. And that's how the, the manifested world, the emptiness dancing. Life, pure potential, shaping and patterning and forming into itself. You know, like the wave in the ocean. It's just appearing as something that's separate, having, a, having an experience but it's just experiencing life, experiencing itself. The ocean never leaves, uh, sorry, the wave never leaves the ocean. It just has the experience of being a wave. When you see it dies back down into the ocean, it was always the ocean experiencing. So it's just experiencing. There is no wave and ocean really. There is um, only the ocean experiencing itself. We are only life experiencing ourselves. So, um, yeah, I'm just sharing. I'm not saying this is the truth. I'm just sharing that because you are your authority, what's true for you, what resonates for you, and what, you know, how does it feel? Never go to the mind to work anything out because all of this that we're talking about is prior to the mind. It's prior to concepts and ideas. It's prior to the story of you. It's your direct experience, your sensing self. The uh, dropping out of the head and into the body. Don't bang on about. <laughs> the um, just being with what is. Prior to the mind, filling in the story about what is. Just offering that. Thanks for watching.